Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. We're gonna build our big guy, our lamb, our super heavy lamb, a little bit in a different way because I figured that the Ultra Auto Cannon 20 idea, while it was fun, it was not really viable. So let's try something different. I want to go, I think, still with ballistics mostly, but I think I need something that has a little bit more range because our Ultra 20s are kind of short ranged and they have a crazy recoil of four. And that's usually not a good thing. So my idea is to still go in the backs of my enemies, but while we are doing, uh, while we are getting into position, I'm also wanna, I also wanna shoot my enemies in the face. So therefore, we're gonna take our good old friend, the Mad Cat Mark II. Uh, which one is it actually? Is it this one that we've already built? This seems good-ish. It's actually overcooling. Running streak LRMs. Yeah, that's the one I don't want. I don't care about streak LRMs. So this is the one that I'm gonna drop. And I'm gonna take the weapons out of that Mad Cat and I'm gonna put it into the Monster Lamb because the Mad Cat came with two Hyper Assault rifles, Scouts rifles. So we're gonna take all of these Ultras and we're gonna take them away. Alrighty. And we come back to some... Ooh, I have a 30 and I have a bunch of 20s. So... I think... You know what? I think 20s are fine. This should be good enough, right? So I, I kind of want to make this thing uh, kind of symmetrical. So I'm gonna go with that. Double 20s, it should be enough, technically. As soon as we find another 30, I think I'm gonna go for another 30, but I think this is the only one that we have right now. This one here. So, you know, we're gonna take this. Also, it frees up a lot of tonnage. We can do something with that. Uh, Hyper Assault Gauss Rifle takes Hyper Assault Gauss Ammo. So we'll take a look at this. We have 7 tons. It's 12 shots. How many shots do we do? Hmm... 10 projectiles per burst. So we deal... Wait, we deal... We have 10 projectiles, we shoot 5 times per burst, dealing 2 damage each projectile. That adds up to 100. So, one shot is 5 shots. Like, one alpha strike is 5 shots. That means we need a lot of ammo here, right? So, if I want to be able to shoot 10 times, I should kind of go to like 4 tons per Hyper Assault Gauss minimum. Something like that. Oh, Elder. Mm -hmm. All right, so we don't even have enough. I really hope this is right. Or oh, is one shot like really a shot? Like one one shot, like one bin of ammo allows us to shoot twelve times with each hyper assault. We will figure this out. We're gonna do some science today. Now the hyper assaults are a little bit colder than our ultra auto cannons, which means we can take a little bit of heat sinking and yeah, put it down. No, I can't. It's uh, it's broken now. Great. So, I cannot take these out. That's unfortunate. You know what? I'm gonna quickly validate that and we come back to the build. As soon as it's ready. We have to wait a little while anyway. Money is not a problem right now, so we can just wait for the next financial report. We can just wait for the Argo upgrades and so on. I just want to get some big mechs that have some firepower on the board today. So, let's go back to the lamb and see what we can do with that thing. By the way, is overloading AMS a thing? Yes, I think it is. Alright, they have a jam chance. I, I think I'm gonna put some more emphasis on my defense as well, using more AMSs. All right, we're gonna put those in here, and now we are heat neutral. That's good. So, Gauss ammo cannot explode, so we kind of, again, make it as symmetric. Symmetric or symmetrical? As it's going to be. Um, We don't need that tag at all. Like, at all. So, what are we doing with the last two support hardpoints? That's the thing. We could actually add another weapon, as in, we're gonna put a laser weapon in the mech, or two maybe. Does it help though? For that, we needed to upgrade our cooling a little bit more then. I could also take heavy small lasers that are kind of a companion piece for our SRMs. A light tag, machine guns, micropulse, vehicle flamers. I don't think that flaming is the right choice here. I could go for more AMS, but I think I'm not gonna do it because the clan AMS is just so much better than regular AMS. And uh, I don't wanna mix them up right now. No, this is fine. Actually, you know what? Since I think I want to overload, I wanna get a little bit more ammo in this. So, here comes another ton of AMS ammo. Alrighty. Two tons left over. Actually, six tons left over. What are we doing with this? This is kinda weird. Alright, I think I'm gonna go down the energy path. 
I think that I can do is take an active probe to have better sensor range. That would be a thing that kind of makes sense. I could just take some very efficient, wait efficient, medium lasers. Could take heavies. I could take heavies. I will take heavies. Why not? They are like 50 damage? Yeah, 50 damage or 21 heat. Oh my god. But that's okay. Yeah, with that, we're gonna bring some double heat sinks back because we have the room for it. And the cool thing about this here is we don't... That's weird. Oh, we have two bins of ammo? Hmm, put that here and we're fine. Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't have to be like super efficient with my Alpha Strike heat because these heavy lasers and the SRMs will not fire that often. And I probably can soak two Alpha Strikes back to back. And then by that point, I don't think we need those lasers anymore. We have probably a cooldown turn and then can go in again. This looks like a build, everybody. I like this. So we got our acid. We got some Artemis as well. We have the medium lasers that can crack enemies open. Then the follow-up with the critical seeking hyper assault Gauss rifles that can also shoot at range. I like it. Let's take a look and see how it works. All right. So before we go in, though, I obviously have to wait. And Geezer is injured. I want that guy back. There we go. And then I think I want to kind of fiddle around with my weapon groups a little bit. So let's see if that's possible. That work order you submitted is complete. All right. Because there's a very distinct order in this. Can I even do it? There we go. So the hyper assaults will always fire last. Go. Heavy laser will always fire first. Because they are my nutcrackers. There we go. Up, 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 up. All right, and then we can technically... Nope. Not like this. We can technically take these AMSs and uh, put them as the last things here. There we go. This is kind of my order that I want. Crack them open first, and then shoot everything afterwards. At the same time, if we fire acid... If we fire acid, would the heavy lasers be better below? I think yes. All right, change of mind. Put the medium lasers after the SRMs. There we go. Prime them with acid. Acid makes the enemy's armor weaker, so we deal more damage with the follow-up weapons. And this is what we do then. I like this. Guys, get ready. This is gonna be fun. Let's check it out. So we have an Argo upgrade ready. Fine. I want Geezer back because he's good. And we're gonna dive into the next mission. I really hope that we can find an ambush convoy. Uh, it's Recovery Urban, Capture Base, Escort, Capture Base. All right, let's capture that base. World of Blake. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All righty. Who do we take to capture the base? I assume there will be a bunch of turrets, and that's, you know, not really a thing, not really a problem when you have artillery. Also, do I want the Mata? That thing comes with a lot of Gauss rifles. I'm not entirely sure. I have another long tom lying around, which is crazy. Do I have anybody who can run that thing? You can, Hotwire. Let's go. So we have... Yeah, we have a good chunk of long toms. Um, Actually, this lance can run mechs. And I think I want to do that. I want another mech. Let's bring the Dire Wolf. Must be less than 950 tons. We are at 960. That is unfortunate. Alright, I'll take the Ballista. There we go. Instead of one long term, and I'll take Medusa as a missile specialist on the Dire Wolf. That seems way better than the things that we had before. Alrighty, let's deploy. That's gonna be great, guys. Man, I love it. By the way, we still have Wolf Banes here. Oh man, that guy. I wish we had him earlier, because again, he's commando and he, he's really good. Those guys, like Wolfbanes and his commando, they are actually quite good mechs and pilots. And uh, I really wish I had them very early on because we could have wrecked face with that thing. The commando, I think, comes with four SRM4s. It's really good. And it comes with double heat sinks and an XL engine. Such a great amount of value in a light mech. But hey, we're gonna get the, the craziness of the early game quite soon enough anyway, since we're gonna start a new Rogue Tech campaign soon. Probably, like, this mission, or let's say this episode, and then probably, like, one more, maybe two. 
is, is actually coming to an end here. But then we're going to start Rogue Take again, and I'm very much looking forward to it. By the way, if you have any suggestions which starting planet, which starting faction I should take, let me know in the comments down below. I will read it, and I will take it into consideration. I will probably also make kind of a poll at some point on my YouTube channel, so look out for that. Command here we go. Interface initiated. I cannot wait. Oh, the big boy. So we got a support lance, we got enemy forces, and we have to scout the factory. There's a lot of stuff happening. Uh, sniper artillery against an awesome? Sure. Uh, actually. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna sprint. We have four evasion and a mineral field, and we can see things on the other side. Uh, that's the Cyclops. That's another awesome. I will actually attack the ground right here. Roger. Losing armor. That was good. That was a nice hit in this general area. So we hit a bunch of people with that. Very good. They all so nicely clustered. I love it. So you want to reserve? Man. Sure. I'll do it until turn one. And now I'm gonna go I'm and I'll take my long term. So I need those guys to get out of line of sight. Okay. It doesn't really matter if they are hitting or not because we will attack the ground anyway, like right here. There we go. Okay, a little bit too far behind. But anyway. Actually, you know what? I wanted to do that for a long time. Uh, zoom to new contra uh, contacts, no. Shoulder camera. Dynamic attack camera. I think this is the one. I'm gonna disable that. So we can actually see what's going on with our toms. On my way. Here we go. Attack ground. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Look at all these numbers. <laughs> okay. So good. The cool thing is, while we are attacking them, we are forcing my, my enemies to make a move and actually come towards us. And waste turns because they cannot really hit us. Nightstar. PPC, double gauss rifle, medium pulse. Skipper. That's a pretty good one. Receiving you. No, that's Decker. I want pizza. I'm here. I always want pizza. So I could do something like careful maneuvers, but I think that's an active ability and I do want to attack the ground. Also, I could attack this guy directly. Can I? I can, 50%. It was 56 a second ago, but all right. I think I accidentally moved around a little bit on my spot. And we have one guy off the support lands already destroyed. So good. So damn good. I love it. <laughs> These long toms are just OP. Oh, if you have a lot of them and you don't care about, um, you know, going in, you have to really stay away from your enemies. Uh, the awesome has already taken his turn, so we can push forward with the mad cat right, and soften that guy up a little bit. He has no evasion anymore, only one. All weapons, go. Yeah, without the dramatic camera, it's so much better. So be Because we can see what's going on. We also got a headshot. Another Night Star. Same thing. Gauss rifle, PPC. Alright, nice. Can I have... Can I have... Becca? What's up, boss? So, his Night Gear is not really able to get a... Good shot. Not on this guy. We can try to hit the Night Star a little bit more. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Alright. Jumping! Shooting through our friends. The good news is that even if we don't hit the Night Star completely, there will be some stray shots against the Awesome that's standing right next to him. Cool thing also, Night Star is now destabilized. He's gonna fall. Got a sensor lock on me. It's okay. So, here comes the other Knight Jir. Mm, yeah, I'll jump. Gaging jump jet. Get the high ground. That's a good chance to hit. I'll take it. And the cool thing is the awesome is already softened up, so let's go. Welcome to my alpha Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Large laser destroyed. I think things are going Swimming. Next round, they will fall like flies. Alright. That hurts, but just a little bit. 
Thanks to our mineral field, we have a plus four difficulty to get hit. What can I do for you? Uh-huh, and here is our land air mag. The good old monster lamb. Hmm. Do I want to stand right behind my friends? I doubt it. Let's go up here. The weapon has a recoil anyway, right? The Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles? Mm, does it stay anywhere? And I mean, that size delta of plus four is so hard. So bad. I'm not gonna shoot. I think the Hyper Assault still has a recoil of three that I don't want to trigger right now. Let's have a better hit chance next round. Getting a bit closer, not having unobs uh, not having obstructed line of sight. Understood. Moving fast. All right, here we go. We will shoot high explosive. Nope. Standard ammo. Nope. Extended range ammo. I want the night star in the back. Wait, I can't. There we go. I want to knock him. Let's do it. Locking on target. Didn't quite work. Oh, he was stabilized. Wait, what? Now that's bulwark. It's cover. Great. Work. All right. No, no, he, he wasn't entrenched, was he? What do you need? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that I have a crazy amount of missiles that will follow up on this guy and it will knock him. Maybe it will even rip him apart completely. That is certainly a knock. Look at him go. Very nice. Two more enemies. And I mean, they have a lot of tank support in the back. These guys are gonna be hard. Hard to kill. Alrighty. Minimal damage on that hit. And another one. And as soon as the battlefield tightens a bit, we gotta be careful with our long tom. So I believe next round... We will reserve until the long toms can fire. Initiate with the long toms and then follow up with the max. That's pretty accurate. Who was that? Wait, what? Interesting. So, sniper artillery. Hmm. Let's get out of line aside. Alright. The ballista over here. I can shoot the awesome and soften them up a little bit further. Also deal some damage to the other awesome. Probably wouldn't be able to crack the manticore. So I'll do it like this. Going with the highest hit chance. Take that. That's an arm gone. And this guy is getting weaker and weaker. Ah, that was the manticore. Got it. My turn. Decker. Yes, commander. Actually... I mean, this would be amazing, but it will also provoke so much return fire against Decker. I'll... Yeah, you know what? We jump. And we try to hit this awesome again. This is a little bit toasty. I want to do Battle Lord. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm completely reckless here, but let's do it anyway. It's probably worth it, right? Or do we just go in with missiles? I'll do it like Target that. Acquired. Two big hits, and then some follow-up. Just destroying one LRM. Scored mm. a critical hit. Alright, he's stressed. Here come the peeps, and they actually hit the Highlander. Twice, I believe. Right? I saw some numbers. Alright. Ready for orders. Uh, yes, I said I wanted to follow up with my with my max, but do I stand and shoot this? I might. I actually might do that just to get the awesome out of the game. He's not destroyed. All right, see, he still has a lot of structure there, but is it gonna hold? He's pulling back. They've got a lock on me. Sensor lock on the night here. Fine. Wait, no, it's not fine. It's Decker. Indirect fire coming from the Cyclops. He oh, already took a lot of damage. He looks like he got shaved so nicely. 
Yeah, come over here, buddy. Turn two is not gonna good for you guys. You will not like it. There's one good reason why I put Decca on the high ground, and that is the high ground. It actually gives you high defense. Good. What about the Night Star that is lying on the ground? This initiative should be turn three, correct? Because this guy is turn four, and the other Night Star is on the ground, which reduces his inny by one, so I guess. I guess he will stand up before I can kill him. But after standing up, they won't really have a good hit chance. This is a problem, by the way. Streak LRMs are highly accurate, and they have a lot of them. Nope. Big nope. What's next? ECM protected. Interesting. Man, I want my artillery. Come on, guys, give me a turn. Because I believe I can take multiples of you. So, you're so nicely clustered. This is gonna be really bad for you. You will regret going into that choke point like that. The good news for them is some of them have cover, so they will take 20% less damage and 40% if they have Bulwark. But it won't help them against my massive artillery setup. Uh, yep. So, we have turn 3. What do you order, Skipper? Don't really want to go in there. I could establish line aside to go for the backliner. You know what? Give him a turn. I don't really care. I want my Audi. Holding for tactical advantage. So this is this guy, the last one, standing up now, and he's moving. There he comes. It's kind of funny that the guys who don't have injuries, actually this guy doesn't have an injury, but he was standing up, and after standing up, your aim is actually quite bad, but they still hit, while the other guys couldn't hit the decker on the high ground. Confirmed. Anyway, turn two, let's go. Let's go to me. Uh, nope. Nope, nope. Good to go. It's Adi first. It's always Adi first. In terms of high firepower. And then we're gonna shoot here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a double kill, wasn't it? I aimed at the awesome and Mr. The Cyclops did a face plant. What? That's the, the rest of the awesome down here. <laughs> cool. Night stars? Mmm. Pretty damaged, I would say. Pretty damaged. And the other awesome is also open because of that. Yes, Commander. But you know what's fun? There's more where that came from. Let's go. Um, sure, I'll, I'll take that. We should really get those guys a bit more tactics so that their indirect fire accuracy is a bit better. Critical hit, Commander. I'm losing armor left and right. Yeah, it's fine. Intensify. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Uh, attack. Took a hard hit there. I'm gonna attack this here. Roger. Yeah, I wanted to hit the tanks in the back a little bit more. Guard a critical hit. Oh, this is so much fun. I love this. It's great. Yep. It is absolutely fantastic. Now, Geezer has also an active ability that I'm gonna trigger now. I should have done it before, but we're gonna target predict now. And we're gonna... Sprint. Five evasion. I love it. Are we going for the night stars? Nah. No, nah, I'm not doing it. We go for the tanks. I want to see what's coming. Manticore is about to fall. Adisan. I think, again, that guy needs to go. But there's also a Rhino that has something. Two binary lasers under Shrek. Then the Clops in the back. I'll attack the Rhino because we have a good chunk of firepower. And I want to soften that guy up. Three downed by AMS. Good. Yes, Commander. Medusa. Medusa. Hmm. I mean, while he is a missile specialist, I think multi-target would be extremely good on him. Oh wait, maybe he has that. Maybe he has that. Understood. Let me Move see real fast. quick. No, we don't have it. You know what? In that case, bad lord. Let's destroy something. I think we can destroy that. Let's see. What's that? I don't know. I'm splitting my damage quite a lot right now. I'm very well aware of that. 
But that's because I believe those guys can be destroyed by What's somebody that, that uh, you know, that comes in a little later. Um, and I honestly don't really respect those guys anymore. So here we go. No Pushing shooting. slightly with the Highlander. That's gonna be a high explosive shot. Fire. On it. So that's a kill. Like a kill kill. Right? Inflicted right? Heavy damage. I know my Good strength shot. and firepower. Like this. Hmm. So. Land air mag on the high ground, flying in, and then swooping down low with hyper assault gauss rifles and coming back. Right, Commander. There we go. We even got a critical. Next that should be destroyed. four parts. Actually, three parts. All right. So something got blown up. Anyway, next round. My round. Um, we go precision strike against the rhino. Exactly. It will probably kill the partisan next to him. Whatever that was. Manticore, actually. Ah, the partisan is still there. All right. Manticore got blown up. We got a bit more damage on the Rhino. That's what I wanted. Uh, Niger. Precision strike. We'll take the tanks out now. Oh, hell yeah. Get on. Not enough. Interesting. Standing by. But we got more where that came from. Let's go, Alpha. All weapons are go. Oh, very nice. And now that the enemies are crumbling, we are getting ahead of the power curve. They cannot really shoot back that much anymore, and it's absolutely fantastic. Love it. Double miss on the cat. Great. I mean, with five evasion, that's pretty good. Pushing forward just slightly. This is where we go aggressive. Yeah, let's do it. Moving to full throttle. Right in your face. Um, I do not care about my initiative next round, so we're gonna cool. Stone Cold, flushes 60 heat, that's great. And next round we have negative three initiative, but who cares about that? Let's go. Here we go. Hmm, not the Michael outcome that I was hoping for, but okay. Turn three. It's their turn. Oh, melee. Good kick. 95 damage. Ooh. All right, fair. Damage is minor. But Command. he's not going to shoot, right? Yeah, his Gauss rifles are not able to shoot into melee. That is good. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Orders. Actually, we got to do something. Because Geezer is not in a good spot. Partisan. Streak LRMs. He's turn one, so we can destroy him later. Let's make sure that this guy is also a low initiative. We're gonna precision strike him and shoot Alpha. Blowing him up. Very good. Target eliminated. Rhino brings some medium poles and LRMs, but again, they are turn one. That's our benefit that we have right now, which means. Waiting for orders. Oh boy. Which means that. It's go time. Yeah, we took a bit of damage, but that's one okay. For the rubbish bin. Destroyed two tanks in the pro. The nope, band. destroyed one tank in the process. Taking heavy hits, Commander. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Precision strike, number two. Against that guy. Oh hell yes. It's on now. Yep, a little bit of splash, but again, it's Reporting. fine. It's holding. Awesome is punching out. Yeah, that's it, baby. That is it. Um, cool. Sprint forward. Attack round. Right here. I'm not even kidding you. Core critical. That was the Night Star right next to us. And, I mean... I mean... Let's go. Let's do it. Attacking from position. Alrighty, proceed to the next objective. Target neutralized. There will be reinforcements probably on this map, so I should be careful. I should not go all in. I shouldn't go overzealous. What's that? 
No, wait. That's not a binary freaking laser. That's a binary PPC. So what is that capable of doing? Commander? I actually need to know. What? I need that in my life. Uh, yeah, sure. Roger, Commander. All right. That's the last of them. Let's get into the zone. Um, yeah, let's get into the zone and then have a good time. Mad Cat needs to stabilize, so we're gonna move. I could have also jumped, actually. Jumped and braced would have been better. Speaking of, Cyanide, let's go. Right. Avionics is still on. Go there. For an abandoned base, it's awfully lively down here, Commander. We are getting a report that additional Blakist reinforcements have been spotted. So expect more contacts. I'll do it. I'll expect everything. Roger. Stupid wobbies. Move Let's go. Received. Uh, long Tom. Confirmed. I actually want to check careful maneuvers. What does it do now? Oh, now I can move. Uh, get down the hill. Ten four. All right. Roger that. Roger that. Cool. Yeah, we have one more turn. This is again, this is flashing up. There is a fail chance attached to it. So I really wonder how long it's gonna take until it's blowing up. A long term. Another careful maneuver. Can I do it? Why am I even moving those guys in? I don't know. Doesn't matter. They have unlimited range, basically. So enemies will be coming from here and here to the right side. Um, high ground seems good. I'm there. Rolling. Avionics still here. Fine. Keep boop. Moving out. Keep boop. Let's do it. On my way. I copy. Ah, finally, we are in safe terrain. We can now move all of our long toms. Location can. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. All right, here comes the reinforcement. We have. What's that? Legacy. An 80-ton mech, elite sharpshooter as a pilot. That thing looks cool as hell. Look at these guys. Oh, this guy. I mean, those those big barrels on the shoulders while still maintaining arms. That thing is amazing. I love it. So we got LRM 20s times two medium pulse, ER medium, streak four, and an ER small. Another one of those, but with ultra tens. We have a Victor, another Victor. So AC 20s are on the board. We should be careful. Um, but since they are all in spawn protection. We're gonna do the thing. I copy. Can't touch this. Oh, I didn't overload my AMS. That's the thing I wanted to actually do. But since we are only getting shot by four missiles, it's fine. Can I do it off turn? No. I think in Rogue Tech you can. Oh no, that's it. Alright, here we go. Overload it now. Cool. Um... Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait until turn one. Come at me, bro. Come at me. This is so fun. Man, it's good being strong. That is a direct hit with an AC-20. Not bad. Not bad at all. So guys, what do you think? Is this better, the build that we have, than before? I think it is. Since we can actually kind of partake, uh, participate in the fight early on. Guillotine, 70 ton. Large laser, an array of mediums, and an SRM-6. Quick draw. LRM-10, SRM-4, four medium lasers. They actually hit a lot. So I should be careful with my Madcat. Armor is getting somewhat Armor slim. What's next? Legacy? LRMs. This is so funny. These guys are actually taking different targets as their priority. Losing armor. I don't know why. I mean, Decker has a little bit of a problem with his front armor, sure. But they were working on this guy. And that's another hit. You gotta be kidding me. Those victors actually we're accurate enough to shoot my uh, super heavy land air mech out of the sky. Wow. Crazy. So it's time to bring some long-term action on the board. Let's start with Orders. Wedge. Why not? Acknowledged. We'll obviously shoot the guy in the back since we 
We have a bit of splash radius, and I want to avoid getting too much return, uh, too much friendly fire. There we go. Some tiny numbers. It's up. Ooh, I can intensify. Let's do it. Copy that, Commander. And pretty good. Yeah. All right. Look at this quick draw. Took a heavy hit there. Sorry. Reporting heavy damage. Sorry. Standing by. A bobtail going for a precision attack. I don't know if she can do it. It's go time. Good enough for me. Structure exposed on the victor. Okay, nice. Bad. Uh, the legacy is about to get destabilized again. Ooh, direct line of sight. I like that. Still, the legacy is the best target. Oh, hell yes. It's on. And that is one victor off the board, just destroyed by Adi. <laughs> Alright, now the fun begins. I should have done it the same thing, you know. Go target prediction first, have higher accuracy, have a good life. Yeah. Why can I not sprint? I can. Ten four. Have a plan. Let's kill this. I'm on him. C3I. So they have Reporting. better visibility. Reporting. That's okay. That's interesting. He's not destroyed though, but he's on the ground. Thing is, I have my land air mech here that might attack the Victor and get a kill. So let's check it out actually. Waiting for orders. Okay. Uh, I cannot sprint. I have to go vigilance. Show them what you got. And I cannot even get into his back. I really wanted to. Ugh. And that, that's unfortunate. But it's good enough. Let's attack him and see what's happening. Ta-da! Maximum firepower! That's what you get for attacking me, man. Right. Down you go. Nice. So, I'm here. so the threats on the left flank are kind of eliminated. Let's go to the right flank and see what we have to do yes, there. Uh, yeah, this guy is the most dangerous target and it's the most easy to hit target. Therefore, we'll attack the Lancelot. No, Legacy, that's his name. High explosives, fine. It's go time. That's a good start. I think I hit something good. Yup. Waiting for orders. Um, sure, Cyanide. Take your night here, bring it to the front, and destroy oh, things. Throttle. You got a Hyper Assault 20? Let's go. That. I'm expecting a kill here, mister. You didn't get it? Take that. That's a demotion, buddy. That was an easy kill, come on. Anyway, he's on the ground, that's good. Next up. Only two more mechs. We have Decker on his Nightjar. Who is uh, mildly damaged already. So... A jump into cover seems like a good idea. And we're gonna finish off somebody. And that somebody is gonna be you, my friend. Down he goes. That leaves us open to our secret weapon. And that secret weapon is our Take Dire Wolf down. with massive LRM spam. So let's do it. Yeah. This might seem counterintuitive, but I'm gonna attack either the quick draw or Double the guillotine. Time. Let's go. This guy is on the ground anyway, and he lost half of his weapons already. So let's try to finish something that we can finish. With Battle Lord. Nope, not you. No no no. Uh, I'll attack the quick draw, why not? Fire. There we go. Man, we need multi-target on this guy. Hostile removed. So, we have so much alpha strike damage that splitting up would be so much more effective. I'm here. A damn. Direct fire, 20% only. I'm gonna shoot like that. Very good hit. Turn 4. It's pretty cool. The AI always prioritizes getting mech stable again, restarting mechs and stuff like that. So, when you start a turn, 
and you have a situation like that or shut down mech or whatever, they will just get them up and do something and you can then take out the other guy as a follow-up. You know, this is so good. Receiving so this you. is what I mean. Now I can actually go for this little dude here. Heading out. I'll go... I think Battlelord gives me higher precision. I could have also pushed him back, but then he would have started turn 3, so it didn't really matter. Attack! Got it. So that's what I mean. I could have technically Watch killed this heat. guy. Uh, he's actually the higher threat, but the AI decided to go for something that is the safer approach. And that is stabilizing the legacy again. Alright, we won. This is it. Ooh, Ace Pilot. Nice. I'm here when you need me. So there's only one more thing to do. Actually, two more things to do. One is this. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I'll not shoot the heavy lasers, and we are fine. Targeting enemy backside. And down he goes. That's, that's good. Kill. Orders. Behemoth, I want you. Moving to uh, LBX in the back. I will actually do it this way. Soften them up and then shoot a cluster Copy for criticals. That. And I think we got the criticals. Very nice. Yeah, that was a... That was an ammo explosion, probably. We aced the mission! I think the flying land air mech is way better than it was before. And um, we didn't lose anything. And still, the long toms, so good, man. Being able to soften up the enemies before they can even get the first shot out is so damn strong. But it's also pretty cheesy, so therefore I think I'm not going to do it too much anymore. Anyway, let's take some salvage. The wobbies are down. And we get 5 out of 21. Cyclops, awesome. Not really what I want. The Night Star... The 95 tonner has some options. It's a battle mag, so we can modify it quite nicely. What would I do with it anyway? I have mad cats that kind of serve the same purpose. I don't need a partisan. Oh, I want to check these binary PPCs. I really hope one of them, maybe two of them, are still here. Wait a second. They deal 110 damage pinpoint. That is a headshot build. I'll take both. Uh, seriously, 110 breaches every cockpit. If we can get a targeting computer that allows us to go for specific locations, that is amazing. Wow. So let's see. Uh, scrambles targets, systems for two accuracy, multiple fire modes, each of which may have their own unique behaviors. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The weapon has multiple fire modes. Again. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Damage falls off 40% of its starting value. Aha. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Damage begins to fall off starting at 185 meters when switched to secondary mode. Stops falling off starting at 540 when switched to secondary mode. So there are some modes that we can choose from. I think I want to discover what's going on there a little bit. Let's check it out. Gauss rifles, no. Lasers, no. Missiles, no. I don't need that. Streak LRM-15. Evasion ignored, plus one accuracy for seven tons per missile launcher. That's a lot of investment. I'd rather have just volume of fire with my clan LRMs, I think. See, I could have one of those or two regular clan LRM-15s. They help... These guys help you a little bit more with accuracy and heat management. So imagine you have an enemy that has a little bit of evasion and you would only hit 50% with your uh, regular LRMs. Then you would fire two weapons that generate twice the heat. And you would hit kind of like the same amount as these things here. But you had to invest too. But if the enemies have no evasion, if you have just perfect line of sight and everything, you just deal so much more damage with two launchers. It's kind of like a... Hmm. I'm on the edge with those things. I'll take them. Why not? XL Engines, Artemis, Guardian ECM, TTS Ballistic. Thank you very much. I'll take it. AM, AMS ammo. No. Uh, these things run with... What is it? Streak LRM ammo? Yeah, there we go. We'll take those. Hmm. Artemis? We have 21. I don't need that. Yeah, this is the, the late game, everybody. It is just the late game. 13 Artemis systems. Perfect. Streak 6s. 
There's nothing I need. I'll take an XL engine or let's say a Victor part. Why not? Doesn't matter. So, this is what we get. Bunch of mech parts, AC5, AMS, binary PPCs. These guys are super interesting. I think I want to try to do something with them. Large lasers, medium pulse, machine guns, PPC Streak 5. Uh, sorry, Streak 15. Sell the core, sell the engine. And we are good to go. Let's go home, everybody. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, the best way to do it is on Patreon. Link is down below in the description. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.